Nuwasi Ngeshu County, residents have had their time with their senators and most of people, they have really had this pleasure which will come again back to this county maybe after 47 years in the Muri. I don't know where you will be, you and I. But it's a great feeling. Residents have just interacted with these uh, senator, senators here and some of them also found, got some opportunity to join in the Senate sittings in the public gallery just to see what really happens in Nairobi. And uh, they have really visited several places in this particular county and the neighboring counties. And we also saw the, the Senate, different committee for Senate uh, grilling different uh, governors, starting with the governor for Baringo and then they grilled governor for Wasingeshu. And yesterday, it was the last time they grilled governor for West Pokot, Professor John Lunyangapo, where one thing that came out in Dimuli is that most of these counties have really mismanaged public funds and some of the ministers or the CEC for finance in some counties really don't know what required. But by law to manage public funds. One case which was really pinpointed out was one case whereby the county collect funds but they don't follow law where they should supposed to they deposit the, the funds to central bank. They just collect money from the, the count, from the, the, their region and go ahead and use it without really following public law. And sometimes some CCs had difficult time to explain or have an understanding what it really means when it comes to law in terms of finance. Also, they visited yesterday a Senate committee on legal visited Eldoret prison. There also they really found a terrible and a pathetic situation in Eldoret prison whereby police officers were still living in mad houses. Even in a terrible situation, you could think that a pig or pigs are the ones that lives there. But uh, they said this one is maybe will be helpful when the president said that they will be given house allowance so that they can start moving away from those particular houses. So today I will, I'll, I will be talking to Senate Speaker later on in the morning just to brief us or just to give us an overview of what they have done because most of residents here are interested to know how many, how much did the Senate use to come here because it's a public uh, ta or it's a public taxpayers' money and they really want to know uh, how. How much did they use in this particular visit in Wasingishu? And they want to know maybe how what have they achieved? Because you remember on Wednesday it was a hot issue whereby residents uh, really uh, lashed out on senators and who grilled them, who told them that they really want uh, an emergency or an urgent help for what they were doing, especially in this menace of maize, and they wanted them really to work on it very fast so that farmers in, in the next two weeks so that they can start. Uh, know the plan where whether they will be giving out their maize to the cereal boards or not. Now I'm joined with the speaker, uh, Ken Lusaka here. Thank you very much, sir, for finding time to to join us on Citizen uh, Daybreak. And uh, six days in Wasingeshu, it has not been a joke. How has it been like? Very, very, very successful. In fact, I think the only time I have seen uh, senators turn up in large numbers is when they are voting in the speaker. Uh, so we had um, attendance of about 100% of the senators who were within the country. Those who had traveled, of course, out with permission, were not able to be here, but the rest were here. We've had very interesting interactions. We started by having um, an engagement uh, with the county assemblies, the leadership, both minority and majority leadership. Then we had uh, committees uh, meeting here. We had uh, the Public Accounts Committee. Uh, uh, meeting three counties, that's Baringo, West Pokot, and Wasingishu. Then we also had um, our committee on uh, our committee on health visiting uh, Moy Referral Hospital. Then, uh, of course, we had uh, the legal committee also visiting uh, uh, visiting uh, UK prisons. Then we had uh, also the committee on education visiting uh, schools with uh, for people with disabilities, and in fact, launching books that. Uh, aiding material that have been uh, a book that has been written by one of the senators who represents people with disability, and of course we had a public participation, the ad hoc committee that was formed by by the Senate to look at the issues of maize. Uh, they went to Transoya Bungoma, and we had a very a very uh, hot one here in uh, in Wasin Gishu. I'm sure you witnessed and saw what the farmers were saying. But the, the beauties we they were able to talk, they were brutally honest, and they were able to give us a petition and I'm sure that the ad hoc committee is going to 
is going to come up with recommendations on how we go forward. Then we had our normal plenary sessions and uh, discussions, which were very lively yesterday. We had very, very hot discussions uh, about uh, issues of uh, resettlement, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, taking care of our catchment areas and such things. So it has been a very, very lively uh, session uh, going forward. Uh, uh, speaker, Kenyans are interested to know maybe how much did the Senate use to, to facilitate senators to be here for these six days? I can't tell that right away because I'll need to find out from the clerk who is the accounting officer. But I want to tell those who think that this that we are with the, a lot of money was actually there was a saving of money because one these committees, for example, the, the counties uh, would have travelled all the way to Nairobi with the executives to come and get, be interrogated. The committees that were meeting here, the ones that went to uh, means of uh, um, that went to Moy River Hospital. Uh, would have still come down here or would have invited the, the, the needs to come. No, it would have meant committees travelling to come down here. But this time, we were, they were all here and they were holding these discussions here. So I think uh, there are those who don't believe that anything good can happen. And you know when you do something, there are critics, people who will always want to look at the negative side. Instead of saying the glass is, is uh, half full, they will want to look at it as half empty. So I think in terms of savings, um, I'm sure there was a lot of saving. And what we have also achieved is so, so much. Because you can imagine... Listening to those farmers, you saw the anger with which they, 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 the anger they had. You can imagine going to Moira for a hospital to look at and listen to the presentations, going to prison to look at what is going on. That interaction with Mwanainji and the, the Senate is there to represent the um, uh, counties and, and uh, the county interests. So I think this is a noble idea and we are going to, going forward, like we said, we are going to roll it out every year. We shall be having, uh, be visiting a county just to interact and get to know what is going on. There's a, uh, Kenyans are really concerned about uh, Senate that you are not really doing oversight as you are supposed to do. Now you have left this work for DPP. What's your take on this? No, no, we are doing oversight. In fact, uh, when I tell you that the county, three county assembly, uh, county executives were interrogated, West Pokot, Bungo, uh, West Pokot was in Gishu and, uh, and, and, and Baringo were here. That is oversight. They were looking at the audited accounts for the year... Um, 2013, 2014, and for the first time, a lot of work has been done. You know, a lot of uh, uh, those reports have been looked at by the Public Accounts Committee. So, Senate is doing its oversight work just the way they are supposed to be doing. And I can assure you, the, the you people, Kenyans, will see a lot of uh, good things coming out of these reports. This is a history that has been written. My last question to you. You will be again in Wasingishu for the next uh, maybe 47 years. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because it's if we have to cover all counties then the next time senate will sit in once in Gishis after 46 after 47 years once we are done with the other with the other um, with the other uh, counties uh, but i want to assure kenyans that this is going to be a, is, is now a vibrant senate you can see what is happening we have been here and i'm telling you even as we speak now we are still going out. We are going to visit projects right now with the governor of this this, this county. The, the ad hoc committee on May has gone to Nandi again to, to try and uh, uh, follow up on uh, petitions that have been brought by, by, by the farmers. And I also want to maybe take this opportunity to to say something about the fake news that I, I, I've seen, saying that some senators are going to to be given, uh, are going to spend one point something in, in Japan. In fact, no senator is going to Japan for sports. That is uh, that is fake news, and I want to clarify that there's no senator who is going to Japan for, for volleyball. Yes. Maybe, uh, Speaker, now that uh, you are leaving Wasingeshu, do you think you've done what you, are, you, you, you came here to do? You can read at excellence? Or, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a very happy speaker, by the way, uh, because we have achieved more than what I even expected. I tell you, like I'm telling you, the energy that I saw in the, with the senators, they were all here, punctual, uh, sitting right from around 7 in the morning in committees, coming for plenary and sitting up to eight at night, you know, trying to look at these issues. This has not happened because the levels of concentration were very high, and I'm very happy. I want to thank them. I want to thank all those who supported us. I want to thank Wasangishu County Assembly, the Wasangishu governor and his team for the hospitality that they have shown and what we have seen and what we have also learned uh, going forward, that this is the way to go. We must interact with our people. My last question to you, Sen uh, Speaker, is that... Uh, one thing that came out uh, clearly from these committees and even in the sittings that the country is overrepresented and money is being overused, tax money. Uh, what is your take? Should you, do you think this leadership or we should we reduce our leaders in various uh, capacities? 
Uh, that's a matter for the referendum. Kenyans are the ones who voted for this uh, constitution, and uh, if they want to, if you want to change that, then it only it requires a referendum for them to relook at the constitution because uh, it, this is a constitution that was thoroughly looked at, it was thoroughly interrogated, and the, 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 those who are representing them were voted by the people. So, but, but speaker, like was in Gishu County, if we can just look at it briefly, that those who are in the in the uh, in the county council government, they was they are still working for the county government, maybe the same job like ad, ad, uh, provincial administration and count go government, uh, and they're all getting salary from one exchequer. What I know is um, um, a rationalization process was done sometime in, in 2016. Uh, that report is there. Maybe we need to look at that report. I know that uh, most uh, some uh, gov count governments inherited uh, local authority uh, workers, and, you know, maybe... When we look at the, that, that report, because a rationalization process was done, when you look at that report, it can then inform what staff uh, each county needs and what staff maybe need, needs to be offloaded depending on the needs of that particular county. So it's a process that needs to be looked at maybe going forward in future. But you, you, you think we are overrepresented? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think we are overrepresented. I think we are we are doing well. Let 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 people be represented. Let people come and uh, represent Kenyans in whatever whatever whichever house is the county assembly, national assembly, or the senate. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Speaker. Thank you very much.